there is something in life that we must get beyond, and that is beyond bitterness. Bitterness will absolutely consume you. It will destroy you, not the other person. It attacks you. In Romans 12, 19, it says, Don't insist on getting even. That's not for you to do. I'll do the judging, says God. I'll take care of it. By not forgiving, by not letting the wrongs go, we aren't getting back at anyone. We're merely punishing ourselves by barricading our own hearts. Bitterness is a spiritual sickness. It will consume your soul. It is dangerous to your emotional health. It can destroy you if you let it. So, as of today, don't let it. If you're caught up in feelings of anger or resentment, you know all too well the destructive power that these emotions have over you. How can you rid yourself once and for all of these feelings? First, prayerfully ask God to cleanse you and cleanse your heart and be open to this happening. Don't say, God, take this out of my fist. You need to also consent and open your fist for this happening. And then learn to catch yourself whenever thoughts of bitterness or hatred seep into your mind and learn to resist those negative thoughts before they hijack your emotions. The Bible teaches us over and over again that if we judge our brothers and sisters, we too will be judged by God. Let us refrain then from judging our neighbors. Let us instead forgive them and love them. Our hearts will be much lighter and our lives will be much better because of our decisions that we make today.